What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, thanks for joining me. In today's video, I'm gonna be attempting to build my own spare tire holder, so stay tuned. All right, here it is. This is my 2019 YXZ1000R. This is what we'll be working on. Uh, if you follow along on the channel, you'll notice it's got a cage now. If you haven't checked out that video already, the link is down in the description. I'll put a link right up here. If you're watching on a phone or a computer, you'll see that. But it's an LSK weld it yourself cage. Uh, I did a full video on that. I built the roof and uh, yeah, make sure you subscribe to the channel down below. If you haven't, give the video a thumbs up because the uh, channel has been lacking thumbs ups, guys. So please, all I ask, give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below, help the channel out. So let's go ahead, go to the back of the YXZ and uh, I'll explain kind of what I got going so, on. This is what we're working with. Uh, I bought these collars off of eBay for like 70 bucks for the four of them. And uh, what those will do is they'll clamp to the frame here. So those will be the base for the actual mount of the spare tire and uh, I'm working with three by one tubing uh, some inch and a half by inch and a half square tubing I'm using square because I don't have a tubing bender so uh, that's a little downside I guess but I don't really mind and then I have some uh, 3 16 plate that I'll be using and uh, some miscellaneous pipe maybe this hinge and this uh, I think this is like 5 8 rod 3 quarter inch rod maybe but that's what I'm working with but the overall goal is to get this mounted to this side and this side and have it come out and have the uh, spare tire be right about here. I mean, you clicked on the thumbnail, you already know what it looks like. I'm just trying to explain, but that's the overall goal because I don't even know if it's going to work out. I'm just making the video and I want to show you guys what I'm doing. So <laughs> here's a little idea kind of of what I've got going on. So this will be the... Uh, framing that's going to come out from here which we'll put that out here and then this right here spare tire will mount to that and then this will be the hinged section that will be mounted from a right about here to here and then this will hinge open which will give you access to the uh i don't know what you call this the bed of the yxz so starting off i'm just going to take the collars and uh, figure out the placement where i want them on here and then uh, we're also going to have to trim this plastic right here so that it doesn't interfere with the collars. So that's where I'm going to place the two collars. This one is all the way up against the tube that goes down on this uh, main tube here there, there's a tube right here that goes down so this is as far as this can go up and then this one I put as high as I could go up this way because the bracket for the fender is actually right here so that's where those two will go now we'll just go ahead jump to the other side do the same thing and then this is our base to our mount eventually all right there we go we got the collars on both sides now we can start working on our framing so this is kind of the framing here so we have our two collars here so now we're gonna get our tubing and we're gonna get some pieces here and here and then this will be our brace and then once we get this and this we'll fill it with a gusset with 3 16 uh, steel and then uh, should be good and strong so I have my inch and a half by inch and a half tubing here we go so now basically what I'm gonna do is try and figure out the angle that I want to do it at so I'm just gonna play around uh, mark a couple angles, use my angleometer thing here, my compass, whatever you want to call it. Uh, figure out the angle that I'm going to put this, and then we'll be able to duplicate that to the other side. And then, uh, yeah, we're just going to keep playing around, doing some cuts, figuring it out. And uh, I'll just keep on trucking. So there we go. I did a 60 degree angle, and then uh, I really like how it's sitting on here. So now all I'm going to do is just kind of cope this out a little bit so that it fits the radius of this uh, collar cope it here and then cope it down here and then we'll tack that into place and then we'll start working on our bottom piece here and then uh, we'll just keep on going Thank you. 
So there we go. We have the uh, bottom tubes tacked up, ready to roll. We got both sides done. And now uh, what I did is I took a level and I leveled it out from this corner here and leveled down. So that will be cut right here. So that will be flat. But uh, before I do that, before I cut this apart, I want to put the gusset in here so that the gusset actually holds these all together. And then we'll uh, weld in a front plate on here to make this flat. And then we'll be able to add our hinge onto this side. This side will also be flat, but that'll give us a flat surface to weld on and uh, have our hinging door. So I have some 316 steel that I've laid out. We have our two gussets here. Now I'll just go ahead and cut those out and then we'll be able to weld those right inside here. So here's our gusset. Fits right inside here like this. And there we go, we have our gussets in. Both sides are in. Now we're good and strong. And now what we can do is we can start cutting the uh, faces off of here and then uh, put a piece of plate in there, weld that up. And then we'll be able to start working on our hinge and our uh, tire mount. A few moments later. Just like that, we have them cut off. Now it's straight, and what we'll do is we'll just add a plate here, weld in a plate here, and on the other side, and uh, we could start working on the hinged part. I'm pretty excited about that. Whoop, whoop. It's gonna be sick. So there we go, we have the plate welded on. I just went ahead and uh, welded the whole thing up actually. So uh, there that is. Now we just gotta do the other side to match and then we'll start working on the hinge. All right, there we are. We have both sides welded up. Now, there you go. What do you guys think? It's coming together. So now here's the hinge that I'm gonna be using. It's heavy duty. This is thick. I mean, that's quarter inch steel. This is, I don't know, probably a three quarter inch hinge. I don't know, it's, it's a monster. But this will get welded right here, on here. And then I'm going to use for the bar that goes across this three by one tubing right here. So we just have to weld up the hinge and then we'll measure wh what we need to come across here. And then that will give us basically our door that's going to open up. So I have the hinge just tacked on here. Then here's my three by one tubing. And basically what it's gonna do is I'm gonna weld it right on here like this. And then I, this is a little bit long just so that I can figure out exactly the length that I want. But we'll weld that on here. And then this will pivot like this and open and close. So I'm gonna go ahead, cap this end so that water doesn't get in there figure out my length, tack this to here, and then, uh, yeah, we'll just uh, keep going. So now for the pin setup, basically what I have is I have this tubing, and then I have this round rod, which this round rod goes inside of here. So now basically what I'm gonna do is kinda like make another hinge, so it's similar to this, but uh, what it will do is this will slide in there, and then we'll lock it in place. I'll cut this piece of pipe, into three different sections. The one section will open and then the other two sections will be welded to over here. Now, hopefully this will make sense once I do it, but uh, I just wanted to show you kind of what I'm thinking. I went ahead, cut this to length now. Both ends are capped, ground down. And then uh, basically what's gonna happen now is I need to weld this to here. And this this is going to be the part of the pipe that locks it in and then these two will go like that So it'll be kind of like that And then this will slide right inside there So I'm gonna go ahead probably tack it to here tack this stuff up and uh, We'll have a good starting point for mounting the actual tire Well, not the tire, but the tire mount to the cross member There she is. I got her tacked in place. I got this side tacked also just so that I could put the other two sleeves on the top and the bottom. I'll probably just leave a little bit of a gap like that. 
like that so we have a little bit of play and then this will swing open we'll be good to go so there we go here's my pin pull the pin take this swings out like that goes back right into place pin in there slide your little cutter pin in there there we go two hours later so now we're going to come up with what we're going to attach the actual spare tire to so what i have is i have an eight inch round circle that i'm going to use as the mounting plate that i'm going to actually well you bolt it to the tire and i'm going to be using these wheel studs in that plate and then you'll just mount the spare tire to these now all i did was just look on amazon to find these for the same uh thread pattern and pitch and everything that matches the lug nuts uh, on the yxz so now the wheel offsets we have a six inch offset from here to there so we have to take that into consideration so we're going to have to build something that comes out about six inches out here and then we'll have that mounting plate right about here now instead of going up straight up and down i think it might look cool if the tire was a little bit pitched like that kind of looking like a rally car or you know like a trophy truck or something look so that's what we're going to try and do that's what i'm going to try and accomplish that all tacked up now and that's pretty much the angle I'm thinking I'm gonna put the tire up there I have some nice strong tacks on there but uh, I'm gonna put the tire up there kind of see where it's at see if I like it make sure it's straight back and forth this way and then uh, I'll start boxing it in so then from here I'll build another one of these brackets here that's gonna tie in from here to the bottom of here and then I'll box this in and box the other side in so that it's nice super strong and uh yeah this is gonna look so sick when it's done a little side profile it's gonna look badass <laughs> i did a little bit of work uh i didn't record but i cut out this piece tacked it in there it's kind of what it looks like now we'll put some straps in here probably like one here one here or i might go all the way across i'm not sure yet but uh something to stiffen this up kind of gusset it up on both sides so I'll go ahead and do that now we're getting close there we go she's all welded up next time you see it it's gonna be painted we will be mounted and uh, ready for the trail hell yeah super super excited on how well it turned out so excited one eternity later all right well it's been a couple days and we're done i painted it up painted it to match my cage there you go i got my box in there let me go ahead set you guys up on the tripod and i'll show you how it works basically just come on over here pull out my pin open up the tire get in here to my toolbox Voila! Or toolbox, cooler, whatever's gonna fit here, whatever you're, you know, wanting to store here. Then we'll put this back on over yonder. Put the pin back in. We're ready to roll. So that's the end of the video. I want to say uh, thanks for joining me. Hopefully, this video was something you guys wanted to see. Uh, it's definitely something that I've wanted and I've waited until after I got my cage, finally did the cage. If you haven't checked that video out, link is down in the description. Also, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like this video, because uh, my videos are not performing as well as they should be. So uh, liking the videos will definitely help that, help out the algorithm and everything, and, you know, all that good jazz, all that YouTube stuff. Anyways, I want to say thanks for joining me and peace out. Bye, guys.